you told né, about uh, players uh, from Europe. Uh, do you do you see uh, a games uh, from Roca uh, Juca Bites in Barcelona or oh, not? Yeah. Uh, because uh, Zach Brasiler from New York Post uh, talking so many good things about this player, né? And the Knicks uh, is the the radar, the radar radar. For, yeah. Forgive my my English. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nix uh, has a, a, a prefer né Roca Bites uh, playing one one more year in Barcelona, né? Uh, but so many people talking with me and saying uh, Roca is playing so well. Uh, your opinion? Uh, your uh, what's your opinion <laughs> about Rocas? Uh Yeah, Victor. So. Um... This is a really funny topic because I watch all Barcelona games and I saw really? Rocas. Yeah, I, I watched <laughs> it because uh, listen, the, the, like there's an NBA league pass, there's also a Euro league pass, and the rest of uh -huh. the ACB games I have in TV, right. so I can watch uh -huh. all Barcelona games, right? Whoa. And I even watch now the Lithuania games, but he was injured, so he didn't play in, in these last couple of games. He only practiced, uh -huh. and I think the last game he played, but it was like only a couple of minutes and he didn't show uh much so uh the, the most funny thing i made a report on on rocas yokubaitis and i said that no i said that i compare him if i would have to find a player in the nba that reminds me of rocas yokubaitis it would be goran dragic oh. you remember the one that played for the heat yes. the point guard. slow savvy nothing athletic but can take that shot can create in a pick and roll really intelligent player plays great defense but also like Fournier team defense because he's mm -hmm. too slow for the athletic American players mm -hmm. so we have to take that into account uh in Europe he looks great on defense because he picks up full court and stuff like that but he knows that those players are not going to go around him and dunk on someone and and play four five on five five on four and stuff like that so in Europe, he can he can play a little bit different on the defensive end. And um, funny thing is that you know I said that I see Rocas, you know, because I because the, the fans were asking on NBK that if Rocas is going to come next season, and I said, listen, for me, he is still not NBA ready. I think that he needs like two more years in the you know Spanish league with Barcelona. And then he can come to the NBA. And and why with Barcelona? Because he had a perfect mentor, Nick Caletas, the the veteran Greece point guard that was playing ahead of Rocas, a perfect player, old dude, veteran mentor, and stuff like that. Perfect guy. He was even drafted to the NBA. I, I'm not sure if he played a season in the NBA, but but maybe in with Memphis, I think. But uh, he plays really smart, and he and you see Rocas doing the same plays, and you see it. It's not like he does the same plays because the coaches, you know, draw uh -huh. it up like that. But he learned that because you know coaches draw it up to pass it downstairs, he does it upstairs and stuff like that. But he knows where the passing lanes are open, so you can really see that uh, that he's intelligent, right? The funny thing that, uh, like I said before. I think that he will come in two years. One week from that thing that I did on NBK, Rokas Jokobaitis does an interview and he says that he's not coming into the NBA for at least two more seasons. And I was like, he watched the, <laughs> he watched the show, he said what I think. And, and you know, that, that was funny for me. But listen, Victor, for me, Rokas Jokobaitis is not going to be a starting point guard for the Knicks. Never, ever. Because... He is too slow. He was too. He's methodical, and he is too slow for the NBA. If it was the era with Patrick Ewing, when mm -hmm. you know dribble, 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 pass the ball to the big man, perfect yes. player. Take him instead of Ron Harper uh, and those guys. Take him, perfect. Uh -huh. player. But yeah, but 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 in this NBA, when you play versus John Morant and stuff like that, he can't defend those guys. So that would be really really bad and 
And yeah, and that's the case with Rokas. I I observe him. I watch him in the Lithuanian national team, which he plays with Valenciunas, Sabonis, uh, Kuzminskis, and, and those guys. Great. The, these European national teams. It, I I encourage Knicks fans to watch European basketball. There's mm -hmm. so many good teams in Europe to watch, and you know I you can imagine. Yeah, sometimes you watch NBA basketball and you think this is the best league. I don't need to watch anything else. If you guys would watch your league, you would fall fall in love with the basketball game even more. It's like the Knicks '90s games. They foul. You know what the play is going to be, but you're not going to score the hoop. That's why games, you know, are like 77 to 83. You know, it's not like 120. I don't think last season there was like maybe three, four games that one team scored 100. It's really, really always less points because of the defense, the fouls, you can hand check and stuff like that. The, the rules are a little bit different, but, you know, it, it's a totally different game in the in Europe and in the in, in FIBA and national games. So it, it's a good experience. I encourage you, you guys in Brazil to watch a couple of these games in Europe. Man, I, I like so much the fans. <laughs> I like so much, man. Uh, like, uh, sorry. Uh, look like soccer, bro. Fans, yeah. Fans from soccer. Whoa. Yeah. I like so much. NBA people so calm. Uh, people quiet. Man, in Europe. Whoa. Yeah, fans Victor. like football. Like yeah. soccer, bro. Yeah, so listen, soccer here, I think around Europe, it's it's way more, you know, li like like in Brazil, you know, soccer yes. is like the first, first, you know, Lemon everything dogs. else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, everything else is like, you know, volleyball, whatever, and then it's basketball, like, you know, fifth, sixth place, whatever, right? But uh -huh. I, I'm going to tell you a funny story. Uh, I was, uh, what, today is Saturday, right? So I was mm -hmm. Thursday on a game, Poland national team was playing with Croatia. Uh, and I wanted a game. I went to Warsaw. It's like, you know, three and a half hours drive. I took two, two of my friends. We went to the basketball game. And I'm going to do this, you know, episode on NBK probably tomorrow. I met Mario Hezonia and I had a 40 minute talk with Mario Hezonia Whoa. with Ivica Zubac from the Clippers because they played on the national team of Croatia. And it, it was such a funny story. But, you know, you're going to probably watch that <laughs> in an episode. And, you know, um, uh, wh why I said that? Listen, the, the, because you said the fans are funny, right? When mm. uh, w before the game started, like the DJ, the, I don't know if you call it the DJ, the, the guy that hypes up the you know the fans, right? He uh -huh. said that if a Croatian player is fouled and goes to the line for two free throws, and he misses the first one, we all you know sing uh, that song is like one more time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and and Zubac missed the first free throw, and the guy plays the music one more time. <laughs> I was laughing so hard, and I even recorded it because they did it every time a Croatian player missed a free throw. They played that song. I recorded it because it was so funny. So and funny, Zubac bro. was like, he was like, you know, <laughs> asking what the DJ is doing here. You know, you can't do it in the NBA even. Like, that was a troll job. You know, like, he was, like, trolling the, <laughs> the Croatian players. So uh, I was laughing so hard at that game. So so it was awesome experience. No, so funny, bro. So funny. <laughs> e aí, pessoal. Este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço!
I do, are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Nick fan, I'm a Nick fan, I'm down with the orange and the blue. I'm a Nick fan, I gotta stay true, yes I do, are you down with the orange and the blue? 